Shalom, all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect by Shem Rechakwadash. My name is Yakaba from Plain Tables Camp. Now, this, you know, in America, you know, they, they changed the uh, laws on marriage. So, back in the East, it gives you more of a uh, what it really was. You know, when a woman you know, reached a flower of her age, she was able to have children. She was being prepared to be, you know, given away to her husband. It doesn't mean that, you know, when she came to puberty that she immediately was married. But it means that she was ready for marriage. You know, that's legal in the eyes of the Most High. But, you know, Western powers, you know, Britain, America, different Western countries, they made the, uh, I think for the most part anyway, a legal adult is 18 years old. Now, in this country called Ma Maui, if I'm saying that right, Mal Ma Maui, M A L A W. All right. Their legal age is 15, and that's normal. All right. That's pretty much like between like 12 and 15 is a normal age, biblically, for what I research is when a woman was married off. So because of feminism and Western injection to these uh, people's cultures, they're trying to make it 18. All right. Or is there uh, going on the ideology? And there's other stuff going on, too. You know, um, I heard something about uh, initiation rituals, which that doesn't change because you're 18. It's really kind of foolish, actually. So let's just let the video play and, and listen. So marry before their 18th birthday and nearly one in eight is half of all teenage girls marry before their 18th birthday and nearly one in eight is wed by the age of 15. Chief Teresa Kachidamoto has so far rescued more than 2,000. Oh, she used to say one in eight is, is married at 15 because I believe 15 is the, is the actual age. And of course, you're going to have some going to be younger, some going to be older. But fifth one, so I guess they, what's the other seven? They they didn't say. So, but I believe fifteen is the uh, the legal age on the laws. Five hundred girls from early marriages. Lamek Masina traveled to the Desta district and filed this report. Tribal chief Teresa Kachindamoto began cracking down on the child marriage. Here, you first of all, you got a woman as a, as a chief. So they're, they're going off on that. And the women supposed to be no damn chief. All right. And then they're adopting Western ideologies. All right. Not their traditions. So they're leaving the traditions of their fathers or their own culture and following a Western system. All right. And I believe English is their first language. If, not their first language, but their official language. Obviously, English isn't their first language, but it's their official language. All right. And he says, rescue these, these girls. I mean... So when they're 18, everything changes. It's really foolish, but you know, they're still going to encounter the same issues. The, whatever's going on in the country, I'm not, uh, acting like I understand all the issues going on in this country, but not getting married at 15 versus 18 is not going to change your, uh, the other things going on in the country. Marriages in the Delta district in central Malawi just a week after she became a chief in 2003. The former secretary at the theological college and a mother of five boys was sick of seeing girls as young as 14 years with the babies. Her first step was to approach village chiefs. So your yeah, women with at 14 years and this ha ha already has babies. Uh, so she probably was pregnant at like 11 or 12 uh, that that's actually biblically normal to have a, a woman bear children at a young age all right but they're going through certain uh social conditions like over here in america you know immaturity mentally immaturity they're not being prepared to you know guide a house and take care of children and i read something here about um, she was 11 and she gave birth to, she, by 16, she had three children. And I think I saw something here about the, 
I will marry when I want. That's a feminist Western injection there. The great win for the girls. The major change in the is a this, in this tradition, traditional harmful practice brought memory to the spotlight. Uh, she has. Let's see, uh, let's see, I thought I saw something that said harmful. Uh, right there. Memory noun. Memory. Noun 23 has been fighting against child marriage and other harmful practices. Right, so he's saying if you marry before 18, it's harmful. All right. Uh, the, the high prevalence of child marriage in Malawi is driven by deep cultural and religious traditions as well as poverty according to UNICEF that's some, some international body some 46% of girls are married before they are 18 and 9% before they are 15 alright so 90% are married at, at 15 15 between 15 and 18 it looks like and 9 percent before they are 15 adolescents adolescents are also commonly exposed to harmful initiation ceremonies intended to inform girls and boys about sex and sexuality so when they're 18 they're not um they don't go through this harmful initiation and that's it's kind of stupid but and it's, i'm sure it's a lie you're 15 you go through it but when you're 18 you don't go through it uh, you, you can see the information here it's kind of it's just a little foolish but uh they had you know different issues going on in their country not you no know, supposing to know everything that's going on um, but i understand you know three years is not going to make the woman like more intelligent if they're stupid children are stupid and that's the main thing that americans argue well your brain is not developed okay uh, your brain is developed at 18 no i thought it was like 20 something right that's what they say all right let's finish this video out and then I'll bring a few scriptures and close the lesson in her area of nearly one million people she later introduced the bylaws to abolish any marriage and are now existing unions all 500 village chiefs agreed to sign then I told them that I want to start to terminate these marriages, whether you like it or not. They said, oh, but you must be careful because some of them, they can kill you. I said, I don't care. Well, again, because she's violating the natural law. So, yeah, I, I can see them uh, rising up and taking her out. But she's violating the natural law. It, it, their traditions are to marry their children at 15 years old. That's that's the legal age in their country. Then they should it, it went the 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 country the fathers however that tradition is should be given that their daughters into marriage at 15 years old like their traditions say but they're adopting 18 for which they don't really explain that well the three years is not going to make the woman not stupid you know that's that's, that's an american um thought process uh, they, they say that they're not they're uh and they consider they doing the same thing americans do you're a child until you're 18 all right whereas that's not biblical that's that and that's in no one's tradition besides uh, um, american and western tradition which is relatively new in american and western tradition it's 18 you being 18 you being a, a, an adult you're still stupid uh, uh, here we go. I'll read this. if they kill me god will receive me with the two hands but I can't allow this thing to continue. Doubled the determinate of child marriages. Kachindamoto also pays school fees for these girls. But her success met resistance. Chief Kachindamoto's aim is for teenage girls to return to school and finish their education. And if anyone gets their way, she deals with them swiftly. Recently firing two traditional chiefs for defying bylaws she formulated to end child marriage. After they apologized, Kachindamoto reinstated them and gave them roles in her fight against brides.
It was so embarrassing to lose my chieftaincy. And now in my village, no girl below the age of 18 is getting married. Even my fellow small chiefs, I'm warning them against allowing early marriages so they don't face the punishment I faced. All right, so the legal age is 15 years old, and they're trying to put it to 18, which they're violating their traditions, their their religious texts, uh, you know, to go to a Western system. Th this is what uh, what John, he said he wandered after the beast because all these nations are adopting these Western, Western customs. All right? And the Lord, Yahweh Shah is going to do, do away with, it, with uh, these Western customs. You got to be 18 years. What the hell is that in the Bible? You got to be 18 years old so my daughter can get married. It's no, nowhere in the scriptures, nowhere in our traditions. You got to be 18 years old for my daughter to get married. So he got fired. I believe he said he was reinstated. Let me go back. I think he said he was reinstated. Double the determinate of child marriages. Kachindamoto also pays the school fees for these girls, but her success met resistance. Chief Kachindamoto's aim is for teenage girls to return to school and finish their education. And if anyone gets their way, she deals with them swiftly. Recently, firing two traditional chiefs for defying by laws she formulated to end child marriage. After they apologized, Kachindamoto reinstated them and gave them roles in her fight against brides. It was so embarrassing to lose my chieftaincy. I'm not in my view. Because you had a woman fire a dude. So they were uh, reinstated and given other uh, jobs or whatever it sounds like to say. But a fire and <laughs> fire by a woman. All right, this is why this this, this whole system needs need to be de uh, annihilated. All right, and the Lord, when He comes back, He all you, you, your 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 sensitivities, and that's all gonna go out the window with with your demise. All right. I'm... Village, no girl below the age of eighteen is getting married. Even my fellow small chiefs, I'm warning them. All right, I believe He said below the age of eighteen cannot get married. All right. So it went from 15 in, in their uh, town. It went from 15, 15, which is, I believe, the legal age of, of the country. And uh, it went up to 18, if I'm not mistaken. It's, I believe that's what I'm hearing. So you have to be 18 to get married. All right. that, that's even crazy. Because in America, I think you can, you, you can still get married before 18. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's like 17, depending on where you are. But uh, yeah, in this village within this country, I, I don't think this is na the national throughout the country. I believe the legal age is still, I believe, 15. And of course, you know, you're going to have certain instances where it's going to be earlier and later. You know, that's just the way nature works in people. Them against allowing early marriages so they don't face the punishment I faced. Kachindamoto's efforts have given the girls hope of living their childhood dreams. Now the issue is to work hard in class, and I'm sure that I'll live my dream. I've long wished to work as a nurse, and now that I've returned to school, I'll live this dream. Kachindamoto's efforts. I think you get the point. I'll leave the. Uh... In the description, the link in the description box, I think it starts at like uh, 1635, no, 15, 15 minutes, and, and they're going electric, apparently, Uganda, with the bikes, as you go back farther, so 15 minutes, 35 seconds, all right, let's get this scriptures here, it's Deuteronomy 22, 28, if a man find a damsel that is a virgin, which is not patrolled, and lay hold on her, and she lie with her, and they be found, then the man that lay with her shall uh, give unto the damsel's father 50 shekels of silver. So we're looking up um, damsel 5291, which adolescence. Na'ara, 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 all right? Adolescence, which is a woman that's able to bear children or a man that is able to to uh, produce seed in his uh, scrotum. All right. 
of a young woman marriageable. All right, meaning able to bear children. You look up adolescence. It means it means adult, a young adult. All right, in the, in the beginning of the adulthood. All right, it doesn't mean a, a woman that has not gone through uh, puberty. All right, youthful, uh, youthful age of the age following childhood. So they're calling them children, but they're actually adults. Is this a play on words? You know, and since it's sensitivity for the need to protect women. All right. We're all adults here. We can we can have this uh, conversation. Growing their age of maturity. That's at the end. There, but grow grow up, ripen, increase, grow up, a youthful person. Uh, adolescence uh, says see adult. <laughs> all right, growing up, growing in manhood or womanhood, youthful, having the characteristics of adolescence. All right, so it's a, it's a young adult, all right, able to be married, like Mary, all right, and it's First Timothy five fourteen. I will therefore that the younger women marry, bear children, guide the house, give an occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. And this all goes back to feminism and the the devil, Esau, the so called white man. All right, for some are returned to side after Satan. So you know that the that tribal chief in those same ideologies you got to be 18 to get married married off instead of the traditional 15 years old it's fueled by satan and in, in, uh, western injection western ideologies all right i would therefore that the younger women marry it says uh, and then it tells you somewhere that the younger women refuse if any man uh where was that at um, Greek concordance. The younger women, widow, widows refuse. Okay, well, that's another precept I'm referring to. All right. If any man or woman uh, that believe have widows, let them relieve them. All right. So um. I would therefore that the younger women marry, bear children, guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. All right. So when you say, oh, I don't want to get married off. Well, you, you're basically claiming it's independence thing. And that's uh, was initiated by Satan. All right. That's so-called white man. All right. The younger women are supposed to marry to avoid fornication and stupidity. All right. Get something else here. I will marry when I want the greatest one for girls. And uh I'll probably make that the title. I will marry when I want the greatest one for girls. Alright, so the more independence these women get, all right, the the the, the less they'll be covered and protected. Alright, so you can take whatever um <laughs> You know, ideology you want is the more independence you get, the more, the more unsafe you'll be. All right, because the government ain't gonna always be there to protect you, and that's what they're hoping. They're hoping that the government and societal norms will be able to protect them. All right, so we'll leave that there. Um, they call them children, but they're adolescents, they're young women all right, of marriageable age. All right, let me get um. One more precept. Isaiah 7. 14. You know, like the elder said, they uh, added, added the other part. It says, uh, a virgin, a young woman of marriageable, marriageable age. I mean, she just started her adolescence. She's able to build children. Not at seven years after she started her adolescence. All right. When her brain is still not developed. That, that's the argument, right? Okay. Alma or Alma. 
uh, a young woman of marriageable age. All right. And then youth, youthful. And that's when you uh, are technically supposed to take a wife. When we get to the kingdom, our wives are not going to be, you know, 18 to 40. All right. When they reach the age of maturity. All right. The ones that are born in the kingdom anyway, because, you know, how shall I that will be will be in our 20s already. You know. Uh, look, we're going to be in our full strength. But our children that are born to us, they're going to be married when they're young. All right. When they turn 12, 13, 14, they're going to be married, the boys and the girls. So, I mean, we're not violating any biblical law. We're not violating Esau's law. All right. We're telling you what the truth is according to the scriptures and what it's going to be. All right. And how the devil is corrupting the traditions of these people. All right. Around the world. But when Esau is taken out the way, it's going to go back to how it used to be. What is it? What the Most High Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai intended it to be. All right. And it's going to be normal. It's not going to be, you're not going to be sensitive to a girl giving away at the age of 15. You'd be wondering, oh, is that right? Should we wait to 18, which is a manufacturer, which is totally manufactured by the devil, 18 years old to get married. All right. So I'll name it. I will, I will marry when I want the greatest win for girls. All right. So hope you edified. Shalom.